what is up youtube welcome to this wonderful fantastic beautiful day as i said in one of my last videos i finally finished building out my bed platform but the only bad thing is i lost the majority of the footage yes i don't know why i downloaded it to google drive and then i waited a few days and i was going to edit it and then for some reason the only thing that works is the time lapse videos so i want to make a quick little intro video showing what i couldn't say in the time lapse because i don't like voiceover so i'm not going to do one i'm gonna do a quick little walk around of the bed platform and show you exactly how i have it set up and what it looks like and how i did it and then at the end i'm gonna play the time lapse you can basically get a sense of how to do it from the time lapse it's just i'm gonna explain it a little bit better and also got me a new t-shirt what do y'all think about the design it's the same design on the back <laughs> so without further ado excuse the hair let's get to it All right, so here it is in all its glory. It's a ba very basic. This is how it sits most of the time. I leave the bed in this position. I might have to push the seat forward just a little bit so I can go to sleep. The pillow is also in the front. That's why there's no pillow up back here. It's just a very basic design. And then I also made a little side cabinet. Let me take the bed out so you can see exactly what's all entail. here it is i really love how it turned out the only thing i wish i would have did was iron out the seats before i glued them down because you can see all the wrinkles when i first bought this sheet all i did was buy a king size flat sheet and then i laid it down cut it out to each individual panel and then i just glued it down that's pretty much it if you've been around my channel and you've seen my last build of my forerunner i kind of mirrored that in a way i just made the the bed platform extremely extremely simple basically all i did is i grabbed two two by sixes and laid them parallel to each other like this and then i put another two by six across the front so it would make like a bookcase almost and then i just layered it with uh sections so shelves on a bookshelf that's kind of where i got the design from is i was looking at a bookshelf in walmart it was extremely cheap it had that creek that crappy wood and I was like, yeah, I can probably make a bed platform. Let me show you each individual section. All right, like I said, this build's extremely, extremely simple. It's just two two by sixes running parallel and then one, two, three, four pieces of two by six in between those two parallel pieces. The bed's 74 inches. These pieces I think are like 23 inches in length. And then I just laid three quarter inch plywood on the top in sections. So the first section has a little manual lever, has a bunch of my food in here. The second one has my clothes. The third one has miscellaneous clothes, um, some body wipes and such. That's why I make these videos because I want to make something that's simple for me and it's simple for somebody else to duplicate and make it their own. But let me swing you around here so you can see. All right, so first you got to lay your platform, which I have a video. I'll probably link up here in the corner somewhere. And then under the platform gives you more storage. As you can see, I have a bunch of storage through there. There's a lot of my tools in there. You can't really see it because it won't focus because the sun is really weird today. You have a bunch of storage in the front. So that's, that's a full backpack. And it's still got more room to go. Then on top here, after you have your platform, platform just there's the first one i'm running a little low so i gotta i gotta stock up these crates they fit in there perfectly i bought them at target and it's just removed the lid and then here I just run a bunch of cans and ramen noodles and stuff because you got to have quick food on the go but yeah i'm running a really really low and i'm really addicted to pop tarts if you can't see and i I love graffiti. If you can't tell, I am obsessed with graffiti. It just looks so good. Some of it looks like crap, yeah, but it's really awesome. Here's all my clothes. 
underwear, socks, shirts, and pants slash workout gear. And like I said, the back one is just miscellaneous stuff. Shirts I might not ever wear again, an extra jacket, water bottle, blah, blah, blah. And how I made this front one, you can see there's an extra cutout right here. It's so I can lean the seat back and I can still get into this drawer. This is just fixed, it doesn't move. But I find it's awesome because you can lean your seat back a little bit further and not have to worry about, crap, I gotta move the seat just to get into the back of it. And there's one more section I didn't talk about yet, is it the back section. Uh, if you caught my last video, you got a sneak peek of it, but there's a drawer. I have all my cooking stuff in here. Here's my stove, pots, pans, cups, and whatever I need. There's a bunch of more room. I gotta build a little cover for it. I haven't done it yet, I've been lazy because it's been like 99, 95 and up for a couple weeks now and it's, I'm dying as you can see, I'm, I'm sweating, but yeah. And then the last feature is this shelf-ish, ish, look. All right, so I had extra wood and I had extra uh, flat sheet from with all this graffiti on it. I was like, why don't I make myself a little cabinet that goes over the wheel well? Because there's really nothing behind this but the wheel well. I, I, I matched it perfectly with it. And then this top space I can use for storage. I'm gonna build a little little type deal on the top to contain stuff on the top. But it also, it opens up and I can store towels, jackets, shorts, what have you. And then on top of that, I have all these Molly panels. These bags are empty. I haven't yet to start filling these up. This one has baby wipes in it. It's a company called Tactical Baby. <laughs> I thought it was really awesome. It, it holds uh, one big old pack of baby wipes. I really love it. Then on this side, I have another Molly panel with a, a window cover in the back to help with the heat a little bit. This is an empty panel right now, or pouch. And anytime you find yourself anywhere, you wanna have the essentials just for first aid. So this is my first aid pouch, it's fully stocked, has a tourniquet, has field dressing, has bandages, you name it, it's probably in there within reason, because you can see how small the pouch is. Don't be like, oh, but you don't have crutches in there. No, I don't have crutches in there. But yeah, this is the build. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Tell me uh, if you would have did something different or if you would have just built the whole platform the entire way. But I like to have a little walkway so I can change my clothes and I can have headroom because when I sit on the floor, I can actually sit up straight. On the bed, I'm kind of hunched over just a smidge, actually I can show you. So this is me sitting on the bed. See, I'm kind of kind of hunched over, I can sit, but if I want to do anything, I usually just sit right here on the floor. I can fit comfortably. It's probably like 15 inch gap right here. Yeah, it's a little tight because this cabinet, if the cabinet wasn't here, my leg will sit on top of the wheel well. That's why I built one kind of similar to my last build because I really like the design. Uh, I really liked having an, a common access area where I can put things and I can sit. I had a couple people say, this is complicated. Like, how'd you do it? That's, that's why this way is 100% simple. Anybody can do it. All you, all you need is wood and a measuring tape and then a circular saw. If you have a table saw, awesome. I don't have access to one, so that's why some of my cuts are kind of jagged. My circular saw blade's kind of dull, and I lost the tool to remove the blade. That's a whole other topic. I really hope you like this video and you like this configuration. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing, becoming part of our squad. Squad, 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 squad. Yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.